White's drill, we wanted to verify our flows for our inch and three quarter hand lines and also see what the furthest distance we could go and still be at a manageable pump pressure. So if you can see behind me, we have a three inch line with one of our gate valves hooked up at the hydrant. That's running into our flow meter. There's the tube, there's a paddle wheel in there, has a, and then that signal goes through a wire to that box. All right, and, we have, and then we have this three inch going into the intake on the passenger side. We're using the front discharge on engine 88 and we did multiple lengths. So we started off at 200 feet, and our SOP is to pump it at 120 PSI to get 150 GPM. So that's what we did. We flew 120 at the pump, and we pumped it at 120. We had 75 PSI at the tip, and we had 152 GPM. So we verified what our SOG is. Next, we stretched our 200 foot inch and three quarter, which is off the rear, and we connected that into our already stretched 200 feet to 400 foot line going with our 20 pounds of friction loss per 100 foot of Mercedes cracking VXO hose, we should have a PDP of 160, which we did, 75 at the tip, 155 GPM. So we verified again. Next, we stretched our 300 foot line, disconnected it, and added that onto the 400 foot line. Our pump uh, discharge pressure, we were figuring it was gonna be around 220 if we used the 200, uh, 20 PSI per 100 foot, which would have been 60, but we were actually at 210, so we were 10 under, we had 80 PSI at the tip, and our, non, or our GPM was 150 gallons per minute. Right now, they're currently flowing 800 foot of inch and three quarter. We don't have the readings yet. So we're gonna go and walk the distance uh, from the engine. We stretch through the back property of the firehouse to the neighborhood behind us, through the house that's directly behind the firehouse, down their driveway, and almost made it to the street. We'll show you what that distance is. Another reason we did this is so people can gauge how far a line can go. You know, 200 feet is what everybody pulls, but when lines get longer, it's good to have a, vis a visual indicator of how long, how far you can go with, with one line. So we're gonna walk that now so you can actually see. All right, so we're gonna walk the line so you can see the distance that we stretch. We're gonna go off the front bumper. We only have one uh, outlet on the front bumper that we use for our attack lines, which is normally 200 feet. So we're gonna walk that, and I'll let you know each uh, break in the line and how far we are. So we're gonna go. Stretching now through the park. This first stretch is 200 feet, and I'll let you know once we get to the end of the 200 foot. One thing we showed the new guys is to make sure they put an extra loop of hose around cars or any obstacles so that the line doesn't get pulled under tires, which is what they did right behind us. So we got to the edge of the parking lot. We're going down a hill through the back of the firehouse property. And then once we get past this evergreen tree, that's gonna be the 200 foot mark as we go into our neighbors on the Charlie side of the firehouse property. So this is also good for people estimating the stretch if we're gonna go in the rare instance uh, to a property from a street over or uh, the other side of an apartment complex or in a real big commercial building. Not very common, but I wanna make sure we know that we can do it if we ever have to. So right at the break in the hose here, this is 200 feet. So we want to quick show behind there how far we got at 200 feet. And then we extended that with our 200 foot pre-connect. Normally, if we were in the field, we might extend off the nozzle. Since we're testing, we just took the nozzle off and extended right onto the hose line. So now we're on the Charlie side of the house to the Charlie side of the firehouse. And we stretch through the backyard 400 feet got us around their car and a little bit down the driveway. All right, the type of hose that we've switched our fleet over to for the inch and three quarter is made by Mercedes. It's called Kraken EXO. Engine 80, you can charge the bumper line again. Uh, it's the, the couplings do have perfectly. arrows on them, they're reflective. So if you were if you're inside a building and you okay, were disoriented, you could look and see this arrow. It's on, it's on there if you need it. You could also feel the coupling and know which way is out. Uh, the one reason we chose this hose is because of its it holds up well to just everyday use. The friction loss was in line with our, our nozzle, so our hose and nozzle package works really well. The friction loss is, is below 20 PSI per 100 feet, which enables us to do this long stretch. And it's worked really well for us, and we're gonna continue on down the rest of this 400 feet. what's your discharge pressure?
This is 400 feet at this point. So if you look behind us, that's the firehouse. And you can kind of see, we went from the parking lot, which is back way behind those trees. Then we went down through the corner of the, uh, the seaside the firehouse, which is the seaside of our uh, neighbor across their lawn. And we got basically to right here. So if we, had, if we had extended this to 100 feet, we could go right into this house if we had. So 500 feet would, would have got us in. Now we're going to continue down the driveway. We added uh, 300 feet on from this point, which is our second pre-connect off the rear. So we went 300 feet and we got almost to the end of the driveway. And we'll walk down there now. And we did get permission from our, our neighbors before we did this. We wanted them to see the fire company you know, walking through their property and wondering what's going on. And once we got down to the end, we do have people making sure that there's no uh, cars coming to give anybody a surprise or, or an unneeded uh, bath in the car or somebody walking. So as you can see, we're gonna, we can't even see the firehouse. You can barely even hear the engine. Um, and this really dispels some of the some myths people have of, of how far you can go with the tack lines, that the engine discharge pressure is gonna be so high that the, the engine's gonna be screaming. It's not really the case. As long as you know your equipment, know what, what your uh, target GPM is, know what your nozzle um, requires pressure-wise to get that target GPM and know the friction loss in your hose, so you can calculate it and know that you can do it. This, we knew that we could do this, but we wanted to verify it. And if you look at this last break, we took our 100 foot inch and three quarter rack, extended it on, and then went out another 100 foot, and that brought us out to um, 800 feet. So at 800 feet, we were at 240 pump discharge, 80 psi at the nozzle, 161 with the fog tip, and 182 with the internal slug.